Hi, my name is Terry Lee with Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. And um, if you go over to the Facebook group and sign up, then you will get a complimentary PDF of every project that I do, the tutorial series, at the end of each series. So like at the end of the videos, when we get done making this book, I will release a PDF that has all of these instructions so far in this all the way to the end okay so I've pulled our papers that we need for this video um, I've also got bad news which is that we had some trouble and um, I had to fix it and so I'll show you what happened so we're working back here we have enough magnets back here now. Um, we're working back here and we did this part and then we had done behind. Okay, now that's where we ran into trouble. We, we didn't have enough magnets. So what I ended up doing was I had taken this magnet off because it wasn't working with this one under the band and under this it was just too much under this was too much and so um, but once I put the magnets on to help hold some of the weight uh, together then this one seems to be doing better these two magnets I've also added an extra magnet on the back for these two to hook on to so it gives it a little bit extra pull um, then on this page um, I've got two magnets that go to these two magnets okay to hold that shut so now we're actually going to have to put another magnet over here but we're going to have to repaper this one and put the belly band back on I made the belly band smaller across so that it isn't in front of any of the magnets and I've already pre-cut the paper I wanted to show you all the magnets or I would have just re-glued the new paper down. So we're going to do that. You should have seen me ripping off that paper. I had to be so careful because the manila folder layer will come off. And it did. And so I had to be careful and do it that way so that when it tore, it tore inwards. So that's a tip for you in case you ever have to take paper off of a manila folder um, to redo it and you don't catch it in time for the glue to still be wet, then, um, then that's something you can do. Now let's see, which way does this go? Looks like it goes this way. Put it back on put it on okay and get all those magnets under there and put this back on and clue the top and the bottom I had to rip the heck out of this to get to get it off on the other one Well, I do want it to stay on. Okay, so we can redo this. Like that. So we still have this belly band and we have that belly band. Now, um, as an example of what we're going to have to do to lower the weight of this section is that instead of writing cards with the cardstock, and then the writing paper on one side. What I'm going to do is take some of these papers, which are the thinner papers, um, from the heirloom paper stack, and then I'm just going to glue them back to back, and they're th so thin. Um, and I'm just going to glue them back to back with the pattern on one side and the writing so paper on the other side. And then that way um, we'll have all the cards that we need, but they uh, won't be super thick and they won't weigh a lot. 
So I wanted to make sure to mention that. I, like I said, I'm not going to be able to make the cards as we go along. Um, I'll try to have a couple by the end of the video or at least have uh, show you how to make one. And then when we go through the final um, flip through, which will be the very last video, you'll see all the cards and um, any ephemera and everything that I add. Um, my videos are mainly the construction and how to do it, not how to decorate it. So most people know that by now. All right, so now we're gonna need, we're gonna make a flip up. Yes, I know, we're adding more because I'm nuts. All right, so we're gonna add a flip up. I've already, well, I guess I didn't double check the size. This was an extra piece that I had. So the height is correct, but it's a little wide. Not really going to make any difference in the scheme of things. Double check it. Okay. You know, it actually looks crooked as well. It is. This was just a scrap. So, let's see about this bigger scrap. And see what we can do. This side is definitely crooked. So we're definitely going to have to cut this side off. And we've got a flap already. And we'll cut it right here. And that should solve our problem. Paper clips everywhere. Oh, well, let's cut it first. Yes, more magnets. We'll check the length. With this fine, we'll just center it. There's the length. They don't all have to be the exact width, you know what I mean, of what they're on. No, I made a little teeny mark. Oh, there it is. Oz is walking around in here. I have no idea what he's doing. Okay. Let's see how that works. Now, the one thing I was going to say, too, was with these um, Amazon Basics folders, and probably with all Manila folders, because they aren't meant to be decorative, um, you're going to have little flecks of brown, you know, from when they uh, make the paper and all that. So don't freak out about it. There's nothing you can do about it. And um, I don't even think that buying more expensive ones um, is going to make a difference at all. So let's make sure this fits and put it in the center. No, 
that is straight. It does not look straight. Five and a quarter and a sixteenth. Five and a quarter and a sixteenth. Okay, it is straight. I don't know why it looks crooked. It must be an optical illusion. Let's miter the corners. This one already just happened to have a bigger flap, but it's all right. So now we're going to um, put this on, and then I think what we'll do is we will going to just put one magnet but I think I might put two I think I might put one in each corner I'll just line them up with these Let's put these on. The um, one of the things about using magnets is you know one side of them attracts, and then if you turn it over, the other side repels. So um, what we're gonna what I ran into is that um, some of the magnets in the back are repelling from some of the magnets in the front, so it's kind of pushing the back over a little bit. So you might want to be mindful of that. If you want to use dots all the way through, you can. Um, I just didn't really, with the cream and these papers, I didn't really want the white or the black um, on there. Come on now. So let's do one in each corner. Let's move them up a little bit. So not right next to the edge of the paper. we're going to have to put matching ones on here so we're going to glue this down look at all the magnets we ended up having to use it's such a heavy section and I wish um, I had used a couple more in this section but this is going to be a magnet crazy project because we're going to need some more in the front so we'll see how it all goes. Move this over just a little bit. We've got that fold as well. On this side, make sure that it's even. Okay, this is going to be F, this is going to be E. Now we want to put these two matching magnets on. I think that might be all for right now, for this video anyway. So 
So remember we put a piece of tape facing up. Let me put the magnet down. Okay. Let's do it on this side. Okay. Let me bring this down. Now this is held down. Okay. Go ahead and smunch your tape down. So now we need to cover this. And so I pulled this paper here. Excuse me. Okay. So here we go. We're going in. <laughs> and then we can do the same thing with this paper. Let's flip it over so we can see. Let's cut it in half first. So that measurement's going to be pretty close to six. Let's do that. And then we'll do this one. this up. And this should fit on here. Which it does. Over 4,000 magnets. Let's get some glue on there. It's the nice optical illusion that that is so much longer than that because it's flipped out. Plus, there's this extra inch there. <laughs> That's what we need. Optical illusions. We're already having a magnet frenzy. Just going to have to think it out better. That's all. I just didn't think about the weight. And I just didn't think it out well enough when I was writing everything up. Because, you know, I picture it in my head. I don't know if you guys realize that or not, but I picture it in my head and then I write it down and then I do it. So I haven't necessarily <laughs> haven't necessarily tested it out ahead of time. magnets. Get my new dry wet wipe. My fresh one doesn't have glue all over it yet. Okay, and now on this we're going to put um, corner tucks, which is going to go right over those two magnets I just put down. Oh, that should be fine. We're putting a, um, on E, I believe we're putting a, um, 
yeah we're putting a top tuck so we'll have double thickness on this but they're so close I don't think um, yeah I think it'll be fine so let's take this get my paper clips back slowly and we're gonna cut it diagonally and then we'll have two corner tucks and then when we put our uh, writing paper in we'll do that because it'll be flexible then we can just slide it in under one and then kind of fold it up a little bit push it up a little bit and slide it in under the other one okay so let's cut that and then we'll have to remember to glue them correctly it's crazy man I don't know where I come up with these things <laughs> I really don't and then sometimes live to regret not doing it ahead of time and just doing it in your head give us the two pieces we want forgot where we were at <laughs> totally all right so we're going to put these on the corners so let's glue the right angle sides We're going to line them up with the paper. Not the um, manila folder. I don't think. Should we cover that because it kind of shows a little bit? No. cover that and we'll cover this one be done with this page okay now on this page we're just going to put a top tuck so we've got our paper that we're going to use which is we're on E this is the paper for E I like this pattern another big paper to cut from I'm going to have to stand up to do this, I think. So if you see the top of my head, you'll have to excuse me. And we want to go all the way down to the crease. Let's make sure we're straight. You move it over just a little bit. Okay, so we want to go down to here. And then we want to go across to here. So once again, we'll cut it this way first. Because that's our six inch cut. I 
actually have a pretty good mess going for me. <laughs> I, um, a lot of times when I work, I stand anyway. So, standing up doesn't bother me at all. But, um, yeah, you get unplanned things, um, even if you only go one step at a time uh, versus the crazy way I do it. The in-head method. Which one? I think it's... Let's see if we can find where we're at. No, oh, it's probably this way. Oh, this is so fun. Yep. Let's glue the paper. We're using a lot of papers from this thing. You should see the number of scraps that I have from all these different pages. I love it. <laughs> I didn't think I would like using all these different patterns and papers. They're, they are similar colors because they're from the same stack. So, you know, it's not too crazy uh, for me. Um, you know, in my brain. But, I don't know where else you'd be crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy in my toe. But, um, but it's still different than what I would normally do. And the last one, the grunge, was different as well. So I like doing different things. Um, now I have left, well, I've done a steampunk one, actually. Um, that was called Flying Machine. If you want to see that, it was one of my favorite um, projects that I've made. Okay, now I just figured I'd use a scrap for the top flap, or the top tuck. Let's see, that's a flip. See, I've got these scraps. This is a flap. This is a flip. Neither one of those. Let's see what else I've got. I don't have a big enough piece across. Let's go to the, let's go to the scrap bucket and see what we've got. You know... I'm liking that a lot. Okay. Okay. Standing up again. Okay. So let's put this in the corner. Go straight across. Oh, I really like this. And then we want it right here. You can actually see the paper through it. I still find crazy. You would think manila folder would be thick enough that you wouldn't see the paper underneath. What is up with that? I can't get it lined up. Now, which side do we want it on? Do we want it on this side? Or do we want it on this side? I kind of like it on that side. This side doesn't have the big brown flaw in it. I do like the other side better, though. It's a smidge short. Okay. It's a top tuck. So I'm wondering if we cut it a little bit shorter and centered it, then that would make it look correct. I don't know how I did that. Make it a little bit shorter. We'll make it look like we did it on purpose. And we'll just do the tuck right there. And that way we can make it even from the sides. Okay.
You know, I was talking earlier about my allergies from cleaning up after the maintenance guy. Because all the stuff that I had pulled away from the walls and everything was stuff that I hadn't been able to reach before. So it was dusty. And um, so I had like this major allergy attack, which is what you heard this morning and, and yesterday and um, other places. And, um, I've got dings going everywhere because it says a shipment has arrived, which is the paper that I need. Okay, so now we've got that. All right, so we've got our diagonal, uh, tucks. We got our top tuck. It's looking pretty cool. It's looking off center. much better I must have went like this and then moved it all right so we've got that it's still pretty good I need to get some neodyne magnets which are the very strong ones but um, I was doing this project and I didn't have three weeks to wait for the magnets so I'm gonna order some and wait the three weeks once I have this series done, I will be 20 episodes ahead, um, except for the Monday and Friday videos. So I think that'll be all right. So now we're on F. So we've done E. So F is just a pocket. So we're gonna paper the page. I like this paper. And it goes this way, so it is directional, has writing on it. So let's go like this. So I can flip it over this way. I just can't flip it over that way. Okay but I think I can see it well enough. So anyway, then I uh, ate some chocolate. Yes, I ate some chocolate. Chocolate makes me sneeze, all crazy things. You know me, I'm kind of a crazy kind of gal. So the chocolate made me sneeze my head off. And then those of you who know me know I keep banging my head on stuff like all the time, a couple times a week. And so I um, banged my head <laughs> on the dryer door. I have one of those over under washer dryers so the dryer door sticks out. And um, the way it is, it's actually in my closet. So... Um, Get this here. I believe that's it. Yeah. Shiny, shiny, shiny. The lead is shiny. Anyway, so I whacked my head on the dryer door, and it was so, it was hysterical because I was being so so careful obviously not careful enough. Center of your lead. Should be this piece. Not gonna swear to anything right, right now. So anyway, I get a bit of a headache. <laughs> And a bit of a sneeze. Oh my gosh, there's so many magnets. Now I can't even get it. All right, so we're doing this. So that means we're doing this. Like I said, we can't go crazy here because of the weight, because of our big um, flap stack. <laughs> our big flip flap stack. Right. 
So we're actually, once we put the pocket on, I mm, want to add a couple of tucks as well. Of course I do. It's the top paper. Why not? Well, it isn't the top paper, is it? So, before I go too hog wild, let's take a look at it and see what I'm doing. What an idea. <laughs> let's look at it and see what we're doing. Look at it ahead of time. All right, let's make sure the writing is the right side up. And put this on here. Okay, now we're just gonna put a pocket across the bottom, right? Oh yeah, see how good we are? We're all good. And we filled up our 3 8 gusset and we have filled up our half inch gusset in the center so let's put that pocket on let's see here's where it could have used a second magnet it holds it this way but once you make it vertical then it doesn't which I think I've said that before so I apologize so we're on this page so see that isn't the front so we do have to be careful so we're just going to add the pocket well it's got a lot of marks on it should we do that? What if we do this one? Get out of here. We'll just do this small pocket. You have to think about the thickness of your lead. I use real thick lead. I like uh, my mechanical pencils to be like a number two pencils, which is like a 1.0 lead, not the 0.7, which is the medium, but the big boy. It'll say right on it when you're looking at the package, it'll say number two pencil, <laughs> which is like the pencil you use in school. Alright, let's see how we did. Why does everything look short to me? Because it is. Alright. We'll do this one. We'll have to cut it. That's all right. That one was a little small. Or we could do this. Oh, let's do that. Let me mess up twice. One on either end. See how that works. I marked it on the outside edge of the paper.
getting a little frustrated with these pockets that I keep making just not even a sixteenth just a hair a little tiny hair too short all right we got it I like it now which side has the least this one so let's glue this side I'm gonna glue it on three sides because it's a pocket you know I ate a granola bar right before I started recording this and I think all it did was make me hungry it's a chocolate covered granola bar there's still only 100 calories <laughs> so now I'm gonna eat two more <laughs> be careful because of all these magnets it's a little kind of all right so I like that so I think we've gotten all of those sections done so let's see what we've done all right in the last two videos we've done this whole stack plus I'm not sure what else we did something else did we do this no, I don't think so we might have done this okay so we're here it opens up like that then you close it then it opens up like this and then it opens up like this I thought there was one more open nope I thought there was one more open but no there's not okay so it goes like that it goes like that and it goes like that that's thick enough okay so we did that in 40 minutes we did our repair we added the extra magnets we cut our pockets from me not having them pre-cut we still have pocket scraps and um, yeah and so that's what we got I another note um, if you're gonna not paper you know like paper not paper paper not paper a I don't like using the same on both I thought I would but I don't and B be careful with doing like this because you can't see this one until you put something in it because the manila is against the manila even though you're covering every other one unless you cover the tab if you're gonna cover paper and cover the tab then that would make the difference because then you would see the tab against this one okay let me see if there are any other tips I can think of real quick don't try this yourself at home <laughs> not without watching the tutorial first watch it first and then go back and watch it again before you do it because you don't want to make my mistakes and then have to go back and fix them okay all right so let's see this is the back so we close this we close that and then this goes like this you can see how it's off just a little bit because there's two magnets that don't like each other in there but it's not that much all right that's it for this video and thank you for putting up with my allergy slash cold whatever it is that I have <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video and that will be just a second for you and a day for me okay Bye-bye.